Now before we start, in the description, I've got a link to a program called Hugin. It's a panoramic editor for free. You do not need Photoshop or any other programs. Today I'm showing you how to make HDRIs for Fortnite. First, say so you want to load into a match and just stay in there until the battle bus is ready to leave. Now these aren't the most accurate HDRIs, but they don't have the best lighting, but it's mostly for reflections and backgrounds. So now that the match has started, exit the match. Now before we enter the game, make sure you go to settings and make sure everything is set to epic. For anti-aliasing, make sure yours is set to temporal anti-aliasing. This is so it can reduce any jagged lines and DLSS will make things slightly blurred. Enter replay and go to your recent replay file. Pause the match and head over to the location you would like. I'll be going to Tilted Towers. I'll be doing the set to right here. I like to get it around head height. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now enter the camera settings and make sure auto exposure is set to on. Focal length is set to 10. Aperture, make sure your f-stops 22. And with the autofocus, make sure it's set to 10,000 centimeters. Under the second options, go to a session ID watermark and make sure that's switched off. At the bottom, you can see what it looks like switched on. Now, go to your time of day. I'll be making this one evening. Let's close and then we can get ready to take the photos. I'll be using the video experience to take my screenshots. But all I have to do is press Alt and F1. But if you don't have the video experience, you can press Windows Shift S and it'll allow you to take a screenshot. A pop up will appear. And then all you do is just press save. Don't worry, with, with NVIDIA experience, don't worry about the icons in the corner. They won't show up. And that's the same as when you take a screenshot. Your mouse or the pop-up at the top right corner won't appear. I'll be starting in the middle just here. When you go to your next one, you want to make sure that there's a main object you can still see from the previous image. But this one, for example, you can still see the little outpost at the top of the hill screenshot. And I'll move to the next angle. So for this one, I'll make sure the white post is still in the image, as you can see right here. And now I'll move on. The tree is still in the image, or the bloom behind it. The tree again, make sure that's in view. And now I can take one more screenshot. And now, now we want to do above. So we can still see that little outpost once again. But notice how we can see the rift. When we move to the next image, we can still see the rift again as well as that light post. Take another. One more. And then that will do for the top images. I'll just take one more just in case so it has a bit more data. Otherwise it should be fine. Now with the bottom image we can still see the footpath, the light post and the chairs in the background as well as the fruit box to the left. So we'll start taking more photos. You can still see the crosswalk here. The drain and the stop sign we can see. Once again, either one or just for more info. Now close Fortnite and open the program Huggin. 
free panoramic editor. Let's load the images. When you press the last image, press shift. Now under focal length, we want to put 10 millimeters. Don't worry about that FOV. Now the program will load all your images in. They won't be in order, but all we have to do is press align. Now this may take a while to align all the images. We could just let that do its thing. Now, once that's done, it will appear upside down. That's okay, because we can fix that afterwards. Now, what we want to do is press Create Panorama. Select the first option. Under the first option, we can leave it as default. You can choose a higher resolution, usually just double those digits just there. But no, if you use a higher resolution, it uses a lot more VRAM. Now, press OK. Press OK once again, and, defi and find the location to save your project file. The second location is where you want to save your HDRI. Save. And now, now we'll open a log and a batch processor. This will then create the HDRI. This should not take as long though. You may get some errors, but just try again, usually by closing the app. Now, once that's finished, what we do, now we go to where we save the image. As you can see, it's just here. It's upside down right now, but we can just rotate it the right way around. Now we want to open up Blender. I have a file right here I've prepared. What we want to do is under the shader nodes, select shader type and select the world. Now what we want to do is control A, S, and then an environment texture, which is usually the first one on top as you type it. Now we want to connect the color to color, open, and find the location of where we save the HDRI. Alrighty, as you can see, the background is now the HDRI that we created. What we need to do now is we need to add a main light. I personally like to use the sun, but you can use a point light, whatever you desire. Now, if I add a camera, if I've set the focus distance to the character Axo, I can see that the background is nicely blurred. When I move around, the background also moves as well. Now, if I move Axo out of the way, I can create a nice perfect sphere so we can have a look at the reflections. Now, if I bring Axo back here, we can add a shadow catcher. Now, if I bring Axo back, I can add a shadow catcher. What you do is you go to object properties and under visibility you want to click shadow catcher. Now as you can see here it's now capturing a, a shadow. Obviously the, the shadow would depend on where you place your camera, the skins, any objects. If you change the focal length of your camera the shadow blends in a lot better. If you'd like to check out my HDRI pack, check the description and the pinned comment. I'll be updating the pack regularly after each Fortnite update. I'm happy to take requests. No credit is needed and it's all free. I hope this video is useful and if you need any more help, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best. And if you'd like, please use code Benderaka. Thank you.